Hey everyone, um, this is CMPM Studios here with another Sony Vegas tutorial. And this tutorial will be a teleport tutorial. What you're going to need to do prior to editing is get a film of you or an object, film, like whatever you want to teleport out of the scene like film it there film it there like film it and then you want to take it out and then film it with it not in there so I filmed someone um, just standing acting like they're gonna teleport out I'll just delete the audio here you guys won't need to do that but just do that so and then so here this person is right here um, make this a little bit bigger here that person is what they're gonna do is they're just gonna walk out like this I'm gonna split that part just hit S and delete the part where it has that person's face like that so I'll just move that there and then there is um, the part where the person's not in the scene right there so what I'm gonna wanna do is save a snapshot to file and I'll just go back around it'll automatically import into your project media so and then there it is so you're gonna wanna bring that one onto the bottom of your timeline or on the bottom of your one where the person's actually there and I'm just gonna delete this track right here click on the track you can right click and then click delete track but I'm just gonna click on it and then click delete so there we go so so as you're gonna see I'm gonna walk in this person's gonna walk in here I'm just gonna cut it right there I'm gonna split it right there and delete the part where he's walking in because I don't want that and then I'm gonna delete the part where he is walking out so like right about there I guess so it's not very long but just delete that and then I'm just gonna make this a little bit longer and then then we're gonna uh as you can see it'll be like this this person pretend like they're touching the watch and then they just pretty much disappear they disappear and one the easiest teleport effect that I could show you right now is um, it's the easiest one I almost think it's the coolest one but it's pretty easy. You just come up here, it'll say um, fade offset zero 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 zero. You want to bring that in and just bring it somewhere. You'll see like a blue line or whatever color line go through, like kind of diagonal. And as you, if you look at my pro at my thing, it will. Um, if you see me right there, I will like disappear like fade away and I think that one's really cool but what you see right here is you see how that's that right there has a little bit more light see it has more light and as I fade out you see how it gets a little bit darker you can fix that with the color corrector or brightness and contrast anything like that really easy and some other easy ones is you want to click video effects and then maybe go uh, oh wait, no, sorry, sorry, transitions, and just add this one in, wait, I'm going to take off my fade first, okay, come on, having a hard time finding it here, oh, it's up here, bring that all the way normal again, just put this in, and put it on the top clip, wait, what? Why does it say wait?
Sorry, everyone. Oh. Let's see what happens there. I don't really know what I did because it was kind of acting weird. Oh, I did the transition on the wrong part. So I'm just gonna... Where? Wait, no. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry to keep this. I don't really need that. Okay, now it's not there. Alright, anyway, um, let's just click this one, and if I add this to the top timeline, right on the edge like that, you see like a little plus sign in a box, to add that there, and then I can just grab my me media timeline right here. If this timeline is not here, it's probably like that. So it's like, what the heck? So what you're going to want to do, you're going to come down here, you're going to see two lines and then two arrows going vertical just click that and pull it up like that however large you want it and then move the timeline along and oh wait I'm gonna see what happens you see how that comes through I mean you can definitely see the color the color difference there but there's plenty of ways you can get that. Oh, dang, sorry. Oh, and to undo like that, it's just a, uh, it's just a little, like, um, you just click Control Z to undo. And then, like, I'll just grab this barn door one just click vertical in no border put it at the end like that and then just x that out so i don't really care about that too much right now and let's just see how this one works oh wow my fault people Alright, there we go. There I am. And then there it goes. You can definitely see that color difference there. I'm just gonna add. Maybe I can add a brightness and contrast to that. I don't know if it'll work better or anything. But. Just add it a little bit brighter. I don't know you can decide however you want it that's not great it's actually pretty bad but you can decide however you want there's so all you really want to do yeah that's horrible right there but anyway you see how I can fade out or teleport out I would actually want to color corrector but wait whatever okay um so anyway there's many many transitions you can grab there's tons of them if i just bring this up a little bit you can see all of these right here you can move this over a little bit so then there they all are clock wipe put that there and now let's see let's see what happens see how I kind of like it goes like a clock which is pretty cool and then I can click dissolve maybe and just close color bleed fast red whatever that is put it there um, I'll just change this just bring up blue for some reason see how it looks and then there we go let's see how this works now that one was kind of weird kind of cool but kind of weird page loop you could do this kind of different here um you can really mess around with whatever you want i don't really care too much 
I really messed up on that brightness and contrast, but it's alright. You see how I just dissolve away right there? See right there, I'm kind of dissolving away, dissolving away. And then it twists, and then it comes, and then I disappear, which is pretty cool. I think that's really cool. And there's just so many you can pick, so, um... Yeah, you can mess around with that, post a video response if you want, show up. Show us, see, it's really, all you have to do is practice at it, I think it's actually awesome, I think the first one's cool, so thank you for watching this tutorial, and please subscribe to CMPM Studios.